Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of the DR tutorial. In this episode, we'll be looking at how to reduce EO into our desired amount of non-DR pieces. So that could be reducing EO to DR-2E3C or DR-4E4C. There are many different triggers that we can set up to. So first of all, we need to understand how doing different moves affect DR. Alright, on the left we have some random EO and on the right we have DR. So of course in EO, um, doing U, R, L or D moves don't affect EO and you can also do F2 or B2 moves but in DR you can you cannot do R or L moves but you can still do U and D moves as mentioned previously so what that tells us is that R and L moves are crucial in order to affect the number of non-DR pieces so let's take this EO case let's look at these two edges this edge is in a DR state because white is facing up. On the other hand, this one is not in a DR state because it's yellow, but it's on the E layer. When you do an R move, this non-DR edge turns into DR, while this edge turns from DR into non-DR. Now for corners, there are three possibilities. It can turn from a DR corner into a non-DR corner, a non-DR corner to still being a non-DR corner, or a non-DR corner that turns into a DR corner. Now how do we make sense of all of this? We can use a more systematic method of counting the number of non-DR pieces and DR pieces. We'll be concentrating on the U and D color. In this case, it will be yellow and white. If a corner is facing towards you, F or B, that is minus one. The reason it's minus one is because a non-DR corner turned into a DR corner, so we lost one non-DR corner. If a corner is facing R, that is plus zero, because a non-DR corner remains a non-DR corner after doing the R move. And all of these examples I'm showing you are applicable to both R and L, because it's essentially the same thing. If a corner is facing U or D, that is plus one because the corner turns from a DR corner into a non-DR corner. Now let's look at the edges. If an edge is currently in a DR state, that means it's plus one because it turns from a DR state into a non-DR state. And of course, for non-DR edges, it is minus one because it turns from non-DR into DR. So this system might be confusing at first, but essentially what it means is if a piece is currently in a DR state and it turns into a non-DR state once doing an R or L move, that is plus one. If a piece is currently non-DR and after doing an R or L, it still remains non-DR, that is plus zero. And finally, if a piece is currently non-DR and it turns into a DR piece, that is minus one. Now let's look at an example of how we can use this counting system to simplify the process of reducing EO into any number of non-DR pieces. Here's the scramble if you want to follow along. For EO, I am going to do R prime B to U B. Now I'm going to go through the process of counting how many non-DR pieces there are. First, let's start with edges. These two edges are DR because they're facing up. These two edges are not DR because they are supposed to be on the E layer. So that's two edges so far. Now let's look on the E layer. This is non-DR because it's supposed to be in the U or D layer. This is also non-DR, same thing. This is non-DR and this is also non-DR. They're all not supposed to be in the E layer. Finally, let's look at the bottom. These two edges are DR because they are yellow and they're facing down. These two edges are non-DR because they are supposed to be in the E layer. So that gives us a total of 8 non-DR edges. Now let's look at corners. These two corners are facing up, therefore they are DR corners, while these two are not because they're not facing up. And here, all of the corners are not facing up. That gives us a total of six non-DR corners. So in total, this current EO state is DR minus eight edges and six corners. In this example, I'm going to reduce this cube into DR minus four E four C. 
currently it's dr minus 8e 6e so which means that in order to achieve dr minus 4e 4c I need a minus 4 for edges and a minus 2 for corners when looking at this scramble what I see is that on the left side there are four non dr edges while on the right side there are only two non dr edges so as I mentioned before all I need is a minus 4 for edges and since there are four non dr edges here it's already minus 4 so if I do an L move I will be left with dr minus 4e something c now if I do the L move uh, I'll count the number of non dr edges 1, 2, 3, 4 so that's already correct for dr minus 4 e 4 c but, but for the corners we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 non dr corners so I need another minus 1 so I'm gonna, do un I'm gonna undo the L move now these two corners are facing f which means that's a minus 1 this corner is plus 0 because it's facing L while this corner is plus 1 because it is facing up. Now we know that doing an L turns it into dr minus 4 e 5 c. If I can do a minus 1 to one of these pieces then it would become dr minus 4, 4 e 4 c. So here we have a corner that is currently plus 1. Now I can move this corner to this spot without ruining any other of the pieces and without doing an R move and that is by doing u r2 u prime remember r2 doesn't affect dr now previously it was a corner that was facing up and now it's a corner that's facing left now if i do an l move again we still have one two three four on the art non dr edges but now we also have one two three four non dr corners let's look at another example Okay, I'm gonna do EO by doing U prime R. That's pretty easy. Okay, now let's count the total number of non DR pieces. Let's start with edges. These two edges are DR because they are white and yellow facing up. These two edges are not because they are supposed to be in the E layer. These two are supposed to be in the U or D layer, so these are non DR. This piece is DR because it's in the correct E layer. This one is non DR because it's supposed to be facing up or down. Now on the D layer, we have three DR pieces because they're white facing down. And then this edge is non-DR because it's supposed to be in the E layer. So total we have one, two, three, four, five, six non-DR edges. And for corners, quickly we can see that none of these are white or yellow. So four non-DR corners here. And on the D layer, we only have one DR corner. So seven non dr corners and the total is dr minus 6e 7c for this example we're now going to try to reduce it to dr minus 2e 3c now just observe the cube and see if l or r has more non dr pieces if i look at the left side there are one two three corners that are facing um f and b so generally you just want to look for corners that face f or b since that will reduce the number of non-dr corners by a lot. And as for edges, in this case we have 1, 2, 3 non-dr edges and 1 dr edge. Like in the first example, the approach that I like to do is to focus on the edges first. Currently we have dr minus 6 edges and we're aiming to reach dr minus 2 edges. So that means we need a minus 4. But currently on the L face we have 3 non-dr edges and 1 dr edge which is minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2. What we need is 4 bad edges on the L face. So we can do that by simply doing a U prime, by moving this non-dr edge here. And now if we do an L, we'll be left with 2 bad edges. I'm just going to look at the corners. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 corners, but we're aiming for dr minus 2 E 3 C. I'm going to undo the L, L move. Currently, this is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and plus 0. So that's a total of minus 3. What we need is a minus 4. Now we can't turn minus 1 into minus 2 because there's no minus 2. So the only choice we have here is to turn this corner that is facing left to facing front. 
Now I see that there's this corner that I can move here by doing u prime r two u. By more practice, you'll be able to see these patterns. Basically, when you move this corner here, it faces front. So now we have minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Initially, we had dr minus six e seven c, and we're trying to go to dr minus two e three c. And on the L face, we've lined up minus four edges and minus four corners, which gives us dr minus two e three c. Now let's just check if that's correct. We have one, two non-dr edges, and one, two, three non-dr corners. I hope these examples helped you understand the counting system better. Now it's not easy to get right away. It will take a lot of practice. The more solves you do, the more you'll be able to see patterns on how you can reduce the number of non-D art pieces. If you're still confused, please go check out um, the docs I have in the link description below. They're basically a lot of D art solves that me and Chong Wen have done. Just try out the solutions and see what approaches we use to do the reductions. Now the next few episodes will be covering the specific triggers, so dr minus 2e3c, dr minus 4e4c, and much more. The more triggers you're comfortable with, the bigger chance you'll be able to find good drs in solves. So, see you then.